Well, the Democratic primary race is about to begin. Increasingly, that party has divided the world into two groups. It's the Sneetches party, really, the people who look in a way that makes them virtuous and other people who look in a way that makes them sinful. Ironically, though, and this is truly hilarious, a new poll of Iowa Democrats find that their three favorite candidates are all the dreaded white men. Joe Biden leads that race with 31 percent, followed by Bernie Sanders and Bateau O'Rourke of Texas is in third place. How are the other contenders faring? Kristen Fisher has been following it. She's, of course, a Fox Washington correspondent. She joins us tonight. Hey, Kristen. Hey, Tucker. Yeah, we're not even out of 2018. We're already talking about 2020, but I guess... That's the world we live in, yes. right? That's the world. So keep in mind, this is a poll for a caucus that's still 14 months away, but it does give us a taste of what the Democratic field might look like. And at the top of the list, former Vice President Joe Biden. Now, Biden hasn't even announced that if he's running, but he said that he plans to make a decision in the next two months. And just two weeks ago, he called himself the most qualified person in the country to be president. Bernie Sanders also hasn't announced if he's running. He came in second. So it shows you that at least right now, Iowa Democrats seem to favor these familiar faces with a lot of political experience. But then there's Beto O'Rourke, the young Democrat from Texas who narrowly lost that Senate seat to the incumbent, Ted Cruz. O'Rourke finished third in this poll, beating out far more seasoned candidates like Senators Elizabeth Warren and Cory Booker, Michael Bloomberg, and Senator Kirsten Gillibrand. Now, she's made headlines in recent days for admitting She's worried that those top three candidates are all white men. She wants more diversity among the top potential candidates heading into 2020. But what seems to matter most to these Iowa Democrats is experience. 49% say it'll take a seasoned politician, not a newcomer, to win. But remember, President Trump, he said that it would be a dream to run against Biden in 2020. Tucker, I think that President Trump would like to run against uh, almost anyone on that list. I love that Gillibrand is concerned. <laughs> so great. Kristen Fisher, thank you for that. My pleasure. Elizabeth Warren is not the only one who's very concerned about the diversity of the lineup. And MSNBC's Joy Reid says having the wrong sex and skin color is a disqualifier potentially. Watch this. They can't run two white guys. I mean, the idea that you have um, Joe Biden talking to Beto O'Rourke and saying maybe they could be a ticket. I personally find it hard to understand how you get the requisite turnout among voters right. of color if it's a two white male ticket. If I mean, women are going to be outraged if there's not a woman on the ticket and voters of color are going to say, well, then why are we participating? Oh, the diversity politics cul-de-sac. We have reached it. This is how you know God has a sense of humor when he makes Joe Biden Number one in the hearts of the diversity party. It's hilarious. Mark Stein, laugh along. <laughs> yeah, I was. Uh, I, I, so I, I, I forgot to introduce you. I know. I love. I loved what Elizabeth Warren said in her speech the other night. She said uh, she told this black audience, "I'm not a person of color, and I haven't lived your life." In fact, she did live their life. She allowed herself to be presented as Harvard Law School's first woman of color uh, for year after year after year. And presumably, there's a real woman of color who could have uh, been Harvard exactly. Law School's first woman. It, but that's that's what's so beautiful about it. I always say, you know, uh, Elizabeth Warren uh, is the whitest white since Frosty the Snowman fell in a vat of whiteout. And if she can be Harvard Law School's first woman of color, Joe Biden is enough of a woman of color by those diversity standards. So Joy Reid doesn't worry, needn't worry, uh, because Beto O'Rourke is the first Muslim transgender nominee for the Democrat Party, and Joe Biden is the first woman of color. All all well, things are possible. Well, but is Bato O'Rourke, does he qualify as a white man? I, I, sincerely, I mean, I thought the idea was he was like, yeah, but not really. He's kind of so cutting edge that he's not actually or no, something. Yeah, he's yeah, he's and he's and he's adopted a groovy name. Joe Joe Biden could easily change his name to Ahmed Biden uh, yeah. and be and be running as the uh, as the first Muslim vice president. I mean, uh, uh, the Elizabeth if the Elizabeth Warren standard is the diversity standard, you, this isn't identity politics. It's self identity politics. Politics. Right. That's the beauty of it. Uh, and, I, and God bless her. I love her for that. Only in America can Elizabeth Warren be the Harvard Law School's first woman of color. The American dream in a nutshell. All the dreams come true in this country. Hmm. Mark Stein, great to see you tonight, as always. Thanks a lot, Tucker.